there really aren't computer crimes per se in the statute book. There aren't exactly, uh, there's a section de dedicated just to crimes involving computers, but computers can be used to commit crimes. The one that I see the most, unfortunately, is possession of child pornography or downloading of child pornography. And just merely possessing that can expose you to possibly decades in prison. And that's the, the most typical computer crime that you see. And what they do is they get a hard drive and they forensically examine what people have been looking at. If they see obvious child pornography or even not obvious child pornography, they might uh, charge you with that and then you're looking at very, very serious sex offenses. Um, other computer crimes that are not quite as common are usually crimes involving fraud, crimes involving you know, wire fraud, money laundering, any type of computer is involved in some type of conspiracy, it can make the, the, the charges more significant. If you are typically involved in a crime where you're just by yourself, well, that's, uh, that's one thing. If you're involved in a conspiracy involving a bunch of other people, that's actually an aggravating factor. And you could, one, be responsible for the crimes committed by the entire group, but two, it's an aggravating factor just to have accomplices. So computer crimes can be involved in you know, uh, business crime, uh, larceny, fraud, that kind of thing. But for the most part, computer crimes are involved with uh, child pornography. So if you have any questions about computer crimes, somebody is uh, wanting to get a hold of your hard drive or asking if they can see it, probably a good idea to say I'd like to speak with an attorney. Our number is 602-989-5000, 602-989-5000. If you have any questions about uh, computer crime, give us a call. Thanks so much.